From Fremont, California, this is the Smokey Podcast, a production of the Smoke Signal, covering everything from student life to what's happening in the world, all in short 20-minute episodes. I'm Jessica Yu, the web co-editor of the Smoke Signal. I want to welcome you to the third episode of season three of the Smokey Podcast, where two staff writers reminisce on their favorite childhood TV shows, books, and movies, exploring the impact that childhood media has had on our lives. Hi, I'm Jenny, and I'm a first-year staff writer and the business manager for The Smoke Signal. Hey, I'm Fidesh, and I'm a first-year staff writer for The Smoke Signal, and today we're going to be reminiscing on some of our most nostalgic childhood TV shows, books, and movies, sharing how they impacted us growing up. Yeah, so for me, I think something pretty interesting about my childhood was that I actually moved around a lot as a kid. Um, I would switch schools every couple of years or so, and because of that, it was kind of hard for me to develop like emotional attachments to like the people and places around me, since I never really seemed to stay in one area for very long. So I think something really special about childhood media is that there are always so many nostalgic memories attached to like your favorite TV shows, books, movies. Um, For example, I was really obsessed with the movie Coraline when I was in like fifth grade or so and during this time I lived in Seattle Um, So I actually had like this movie player in my car and every day as I drove to school I would watch Coraline with my sister in the back seat Um, It still continues to be like one of my favorite memories of childhood um, Just because I think Seattle was a very interesting time in my life and every time I watch Coraline It really reminds me of just growing up in Seattle. So what about you Videsh? Yeah, same here. I actually watched Coraline a ton with my sister when I was younger. But for me, I think that's something that really takes me back is music. Like 2010 nostalgic pop music, although it's wildly different from my current music taste, I still love to listen to it occasionally because it reminds me of being in the car with my siblings and they always had control of the aux. So it really takes me back. Um, Yeah, what about you? Yeah, um, for me... I really have like a ton of like nostalgic music tastes, I guess. Like my sister used to recommend um, songs like from Panic at the Disco or My Chemical Romance. And I feel like I would never listen to like those artists nowadays, like no offense to the people who really like um, listening to them because I do think they're good artists, but it's just like, um, it was really different from my music taste right now. Um, I think another thing is like, Um, Because I switched schools pretty often as a kid, I would be pretty introverted. So I would spend like a ton of time with my siblings and I would also spend a lot of time reading with them as well. Um, They really shared with me like a lot of good book recommendations and books are really just like my companions and teachers for me growing up. So what about you? Do you feel like books impacted you a lot as as a kid? Yeah, for sure. I think that books when I was younger held a much greater role in my life. Um, book series like Magic Treehouse, Harry Potter, The Hardy Boys, I was constantly invested in them with my friends and I remember going to the school library, jumping at the first opportunity we had to read them. Um, Also, there was many times when I visited the Fremont Main Library with my sister and it was there where I had access to a ton of different genres and had free roam over this entire catalog of different books and stories. So. Now, I don't really read books as much. I used to read books, especially when I had trouble falling asleep. They helped quell my boredom. But now that I don't have that, it's still nice to think about books and reminisce on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Um, For me, there were a lot of like TV shows that I was really obsessed with as a kid. For instance, I was like really into a lot of shows on Cartoon Network. Um, My siblings and I used to just wake up like super early together on Saturday mornings literally just to watch these TV shows together and like spend time with one another. Um, It was really nice but in retro perspective, I think I just miss how life was a lot less busy as a kid because nowadays I don't think I could wake up at like 7am on a Saturday for like just any purpose, like not even just to watch TV shows. But yeah, I feel like that really just kind of shows how I feel like childhood media, it's like a really great way to just bond with your family. Um, I noticed like we both kind of were able to get a lot closer to our siblings by sharing like movie movie recommendations, book recommendations, you know. Um, So for me, I feel like I watched a lot of films together with my family. Um, I think my siblings and I are five years apart, which is like a pretty big age gap. So films really became something to connect through. So what about you? Yeah, for sure. I think with my siblings specifically, I was introduced to a ton of different shows. Like I still remember watching Suits and Psych with my siblings pretty late into the night. I've also been introduced to a ton of music artists for my siblings, whether that be Frank Ocean or Steve Lacey. This has still had a big effect on my life even now, and I think it's shaped who I am today and my preferences. What about you? 
Yeah, I feel like I can really re- I can really relate to everything you said about how um, getting recommended shows by your siblings can help you like develop your own personal taste. For example, um, my brother really liked the this anime called Naruto growing up, and I basically grew up alongside the show. Like the show, it's like I think it's like it's very very long. I I can't remember how many episodes it is exactly, but I kind of lost count like episode like four hundred or so, <laughs> and I basically watched like almost all of them. Like it's just very crazy to me. Because um, when my friends ask if they should get into like Naruto, I always say like, oh yeah, it's super long. Like it literally took me like my whole life <laughs> to catch up with this show, you know. Um, so even though I don't really spend a lot of time with my siblings anymore since they're both like in college, um, it's still just super nice. Like every time I like turn on like Netflix and watch Naruto, it just it still reminds me of like those memories I had with them as a kid. Um, which I feel like is just very comforting for me. So what about you? Did your siblings ever like watch specific like movies with you? No, yeah, exactly. I think even some of my favorite movies right now are ones that I was initially introduced to by my siblings. Um, for example, Whiplash, when my entire family played that, I didn't really understand it as a kid, but I still was pretty invested in it. I enjoyed watching it, and now it's one of my favorite movies. So I think it's really interesting how even though these different movies and forms of media can be introduced to you at a young at a young age, it can have a pretty big effect on your life later down the road. Even now, some of my favorite mo- memories for holidays are just watching movies with my family, and I associate those memories with those holidays. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think something you said was pretty interesting about like the movie Whiplash. Like, um, you mentioned how um, you didn't really understand what was going on, but it was still like just nice to watch. The movie with your family i feel like that's something i can relate to a lot especially since like um my parents used to play like a lot of chinese dramas for me and my siblings growing up like i i to this day i'm still not entirely sure what those dramas are about um because i actually like i can't really speak or understand chinese that well which i feel like is pretty uncommon especially in the mission area so i would say i experienced like a lot of cultural disconnect as a kid but my parents would always explain like what was happening in these Chinese dramas for me while I was watching them. And I feel like they're some of like my earliest memories. Um, I think it was just really nice being able to like watch those movies with my parents because they would always be there to like guide guide me through the movie, like explain what was going on and kind of like translate things for me. So um, I feel like I'm very grateful that I had like those experiences with them growing up. Um, I also think like a lot of Chinese books I enjoy reading, like not books I like are like not translated into English because like I can't read Chinese that well but one of my favorite books is actually from Chinese literature it's called like um, The Art of War Um, and includes like a lot of important qualities about like Chinese culture such as like modesty, hard work, intelligence so what about you? Did you ever have like um, specific movies or books that helped you connect with your culture? Yeah for sure. Jumping back to what you said like I can't really understand Hindi that well either but through movies I was able to get a basic understanding And even in general, there were many times I didn't know what was going on in a show or an Indian drama, but it was still nice to watch it and at least have a way to bond with my parents. And even though I didn't understand it, it was kind of nice to laugh about what was happening in the drama series. It was always super over the top. But in general, I think that Bollywood films were pretty important as they helped me connect to my culture. It was not only something my parents and I could bond over, but also it introduced me to other parts of the Indian culture that I wouldn't be introduced to otherwise. Yeah, of course. I feel like just to, before we close this off, I do feel like the experiences and memories we have in our childhood are super important for really like shaping our personalities and viewpoints on things later on in life. So do you ever feel like you had um, like specific shows, movies, etc. that really shaped you growing up? Yeah, I think one of the qualities that media has brought out in me has to be my imagination. Um, Studio Ghibli films, specifically Spirited Away, which is one of my favorite animated films right now, was something that really made me creative as a kid, and I think kind of reinforced who I am today. But in general, just TV shows were able to constantly have that effect in me where I was immersed in this world for a great period of time because these series were ongoing and served as a constant as my life continued to change. I grew up alongside a ton of these shows, whether they were on Disney Channel, Cartoon Network, or just anime my siblings introduced to me. Mm -hmm. Now that almost all of those series have ended, I miss that sense of nostalgia, but I still think it's had a pretty big effect on who I am today. Yeah, for sure. So for me, I feel like something that I appreciate a lot 
about having like these favorite TV shows and movies growing up is that I feel like it really serves as a reminder of how much I've grown since childhood. Um, I think for me, growing, um, moving around a lot really made me very introverted and I was pretty socially anxious as a kid. Like I was really, really bad at talking to people and I don't think I actually like kind of enjoyed starting conversations with people until high school came around, which a lot of people are pretty surprised about because I think if you know me in person, I'm always trying to like make friends with people, yeah. make them laugh and stuff like that. So um, I think I'm very optimistic and pretty social nowadays. Um, I do wish that I had like appreciated my childhood more as a kid instead of always wanting to grow up and always wanting to like move on with my life, you know? But I think it's great just having like shows like Coraline, Naruto that I can always look back on and then it really just reminds me of all the happy memories I had as a kid. But I feel like in a sense it also shows me like um, everything that's in store for me, you know? You know, since you're a sophomore, I'm a junior, we're kind of already out the door of our high school experiences. So I feel like just having these forms of childhood media to look back on is something really special and it's something I definitely appreciate a lot. Okay, and that's about it for this episode. So we hope you guys were able to join in on our self-reflection and think about the impact that your childhood media has had on you. For more content by The Smoke Signal, visit our website at www.thesmokesignal.org. And to our listeners, thank you for taking time out of your day and tuning into this episode of The Smoky Podcast. We had a great time and hope you all did too. We want to thank Videsh and Jenny for joining us on this episode of The Smoky Podcast. Our background music is produced by Lucrembo, and our show is edited by Tanisha Srivasta and Jessica Yu. See you next time on The Smoky Podcast.